walk on it. Right, tell, Chris, tell him what he's doing. This is Mapley, Mapley Tree Services' son, so this is the next generation. You go and tell the people what you've done to our work. Don't walk on the drive. <laughs> so basically, we stood in the gobbo, and then we walked all the way around the driveway and got gobbo over there, didn't we? It's not your fault, though, is it? No. You know what it is? He's overworking, underpaid. That's what it is. Stand for this, mate. Tell him. I'm telling you. Give, Give him more money. money. You've heard the kid, he wants money sending in. Pay me, tell him, pay me. Never mind dad having you in off term, not paying you know. Slave labour. Look at, look at the face of this criminal here, look. Five years ago, this guy's poor dad dropped super noodles on his head and he ain't cleaned them off since. <laughs> <laughs> go on then, let's let you get off. Well, all in all, not a bad day for a Wednesday. So, edging's in, sub basin, unwackered, sandal. Uh, sand in, sand speed and laid. There's a pair of Muppets, look. The only gang you two been in, Gary Glitters. Throwing <laughs> gang signs. Best yeah, you don't want to be in their gang, their gang, their gang, trust I me. Good morning, everybody. First of all, I'd just like to say a massive thank you. Um, the last video we put out, we can't believe the response we had. I think it's like, I wanted a thousand likes. I got like three and a half thousand likes. We've had like 40,000 views, absolutely over the moon. So thank you to all you guys who bothered to watch, comment, like it. Honestly, it meant a lot. We'd had a really bad week um, and it was really nice to get some... Uh, bit of reassurance from you guys so thank you all it's uh yeah massive we can't believe it we also hit the 7,000 subscribers mark now i'd said i'd like to hit 10,000 within the first year which would be october and we've already hit 7,000 so fingers crossed we're well on the way however it can be a little bit unpredictable you never actually know some months you get no subscribers last week i got a thousand it's it's crazy so um, again, thank you uh, to all our new subscribers. Like I say, we, we aim to put content out every single Sunday. We put an hour video out if we can. Um, apologies for not putting a video out Easter Sunday. We just, we'd had a week off. We'd all agreed we'd, we'd take a week off work for Easter. We've worked hard this first quarter. It's been really tough with the weather and um, and so on. The lads have worked really hard, so they deserved a nice week off. So we, uh, yeah, we all had a nice family week um, over Easter. Ate too much chocolate. Um, however, we're back on the grind today. Right, on to this week's job. It has decided, would you believe we've had lovely weather the whole last week and then the heavens have opened today. So I'm just currently sat in the van and it's absolutely siling it down with the rain. But uh, such is life, we'll get on with it. It's bank holiday Monday. We agreed we'd have the Friday off and we'd come in work this morning. However, we can't get grab lorries today because of the, the tips and things being close for bank holiday. So it should be a quick day. So we're going to come in, get a load of muck ready and dug out, ready to go. Um, and... Um, get dj here in the morning which we choose the morning so we should have a quick we'll only be a few hopefully a couple of hours if things are to plan we're just going to get a load ready pile them up ready on the on the front just to go so we'll show you guys that in a minute i'll jump out the van and show you what's going on god would you look at this look absolutely siling it down i can't believe it that's poor little foldsy look he's probably hung over should we go and see what he's been doing machines arrived no bank holidays round here, Sean, eh? Upsetting the neighbours. <laughs> Boys are ready, lot hiding out the rain. So this is the job, basically, long story short. Full dig out, square to the hedge, all the way to the house and round. Um, new driveway, easy as it comes, really. A nice, simple job, this. Wall's got a bit of frost damage, so we've got to be a little bit careful. The concrete goes under the wall. Uh, well, the render of the wall, so I'm a bit worried there's going to be some damage on this, but there's nothing much we can do. So the customer's aware of it, we'll see how it goes, but we'll probably tackle that tomorrow. Like I say, today we're just going to get a load dug out, um, put on the front here for Dave to come and fetch in the morning. That's all arranged, ready. And um, yeah, it should be a nice, easy day, really. I mean, it's eight o'clock now, but 
probably take, we'll be here a couple of hours, I'd say. worse than you went. Yeah. Come back with alcohol problem. It's not a problem is it? It's no. any problem when you run out mate. That's correct. I've only ever been drunk once. Just started when I was 40. <laughs> Never stopped. Still drunk now. Still drunk now yeah. Don't pull him over people. You're in the limit. Well we're doing all right up to now. We're nearly at the NTL so we're not doing too bad. Luckily we didn't squash it. Took her eye off the ball for one second, we just kicked the pipe a bit, but it's alright. Yeah, no damage there. Be alright. Nice bit of mud. Right, that's about us done for the first day. Say so we can't get a lorry until tomorrow because the tips are shut for the bank holiday. We've got a pie already. Made a, to be fair, we've just made a bloody mess. But um yeah, and we'll uh back in the morning, get the grab here, get the rest out, stoned up tomorrow. Good morning everybody, it's Nick at BMP Paving. Got a special guest today, Folder, in the van. We're just chilling out, waiting for the grab lorry to get here. So we got the first load ready yesterday, we're just waiting for him to come now and get rid of that. And they'll continue digging out and uh, get some stone in and knocked about today, hopefully, and get that all done. Uh, I've got all the materials coming tomorrow. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a busy day today. So uh, we shall show you what's going on. Um, we've also, Sod's Law, as we're digging out under the whole driveway, just, uh, I think it's like gas and electric mains through the whole thing. So we're having to dodge them while we dig, which is a bit of a ball ache. But uh, we always get there in the end. So Sod's Law as well, it's a beautiful sunny day, but where we're working, there's absolutely no sun. <laughs> so, <laughs> we showed you out the van window now, it's beautiful blue skies and sunshine and we're just completely in the shade where we're working, so uh, such is life. So I'd like to say we're finally getting somewhere today. However, it's been a slow morning up to now. We've got gas and electric mains everywhere. We're trying to dig it out. Nothing's on time, it's been a nightmare. But however, the grab lorry has just arrived so we can get its first pile of muck out of the way, which is very helpful. That means we can continue digging. So uh, yeah, let's get that on and away. And then we can get on with this job. Here we go. Let's get rid of this rubbish. So the battle continues, we're nearly there. The first load's gone as you've seen. Um, Stevie's just on the way back now for another load and um, bringing some rose stone. However, the problem we've got is, the customer was aware, we've got this like retaining wall here, it's quite badly water and frost damaged. 
and what they've done is they've sort of when they've rendered the wall they've rendered it over the concrete so we're having to try and pull the concrete out and cause minimal damage to this but it's next to impossible if you see what like if you see what ryan's doing there look you've got to kind of weasel each little bit out with like all collapsing we're not bothered about the render cosmetically but it's uh yeah we don't want structurally it so see there's little bits you're not going to get away with it really but um I did get a price to the customer for the wall, but obviously it's quite expensive wall in at the minute. So he, 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 he said he'd leave it in, but in my opinion, maybe a bit of a bad decision. But uh, it's just not going to look great when it's done, but it is what it is. can only do what people want to have done, unfortunately. Right, guys, things are progressing. I'm in a bit of a mare. We've got this electric cable running through, so we have to dig around that. Be careful with that. Put the muck here. Stevie's in a bit of a rush today, so he's bought the stone. So we're trying to put the stone down, then take the muck away to save the haulage in terms of fuel. A bit going back and forward. Obviously, speeds things up, but it can make things a little bit difficult. So we're slowly and surely getting there. It's just meant I've not been able to film much today because we're literally running around like endless chickens. So we um we just uh, had a spot of lunch. We're going to get this muck out of the way knock this stone about I think we're gonna need some more stone so I'll probably top that up in the morning but yeah we're getting there slowly and surely Okay, so that's the second load of muck away. We're just knocking the first layer of stone around. We're gonna get a rake around and a whacker. Um, I think we're gonna need some more stone, to be honest with you. Not looking too promising. So uh, probably the top up the stone in the morning. Um, yeah, rock and roll. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday morning. I'm trying to get things done. It's not going my way. So today I've got to attempt to finish up stoning and compacting the sub base. I need to get a soak away in and installed. I need to get path edgings in installed and sand screed and lay 70 square meters of block paving. Is it possible? I'm not sure. I don't think so, but we will try as best as we do. So we're cracking on. Um, I'm not sure about this whole shaving thing. I look like a bit of a baby face, don't I? Well, bar the wrinkles. But anyway, I shall show you where we're at when I can be bothered to get out of this van. So, as you can see, we're starting to get somewhere. Soakway's dog ready. It's mostly stoned up. We've got number six ton coming this morning. We're going to drop in this area here, get the soakway installed properly. It's not ideal, it's another story. Um, yeah, get this all in. There's a plant going in this corner, so that bit's going to be tidied up. Probably get that bit scooped out and gone. Um, still need to do some wall alterations, reinstate the copers, cut this wall back, cut the footing out. But as you can see, it's starting to take shape, so we'll get all this stone in, whackered, new path edgings in, get the soakway kit installed, get it all set up, and uh, hopefully start laying some, some driveway. But uh, yeah, it's a big old, uh, it's a big boy, so it's probably going to, uh, I don't know. If we get this late today, I'll be shocked and amazed, but you guys will see. Think we can do it? Who knows? So that's the materials nearly unloaded. What a load of gear there. There's a, probably a couple of grand of stuff here on this load. So um, yeah, a lot of graft, a lot of loading to do. I think DJ's just pulled up up the road with our stone. 
Here he is, the man, the myth, the legend. He's hiding behind the bags. Hi, Dave. Waiting, mate. Waiting game, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, so that's all the sub base in and now whackered. Just got to start the long job now, job now, barring all this sand in. Obviously the sub base wasn't ready when John A's get here, so we couldn't put the bags down, which saves us a lot of time. So now we're gonna to have to hand barrow all the sand in. As being demonstrated by my beautiful assistant Foldy. Or is it me? Huh? Or is it me? Oh, don't be like that. Don't be like that. What have you been like that for? Oh, you know what you're being like. Stop it. Like nothing, sir. You are. Right, okay. So, we've sanded and screeded everything. Just got to float. We're trying to set a 90 degree angle now to see if we can make it work down this side, but it's not looking very promising. Um, yeah, we'll take the bars out, hand float all these gaps up. However, the weather has took a turn for the worse. So, it's now heavy drizzling but we've now got to get it late because it's screeded so it's going to be two three hours now in the rain brilliant can't wait absolutely love my life it's great right okay so sanded screeded ryan is floating up and we've just started to lay like i say the weather is appalling as usual but we're getting there so yeah let's get on Okay, so I should have never dieted myself this morning. I didn't think we'd get this all laid today, but we've managed it. Just left a small section in the corner because we've got to attach all the soak and drainage up tomorrow. So we've got to dig into here and put the drainage in, but it's looking a bit like a bomb site. Just trying to clear it up now, get all this cleared out tomorrow. So we've got a bit of a run of jobs at the minute where we can't put materials anywhere. So we have to load the vans up every single night, which is a bit of a nuisance, but happy days. But well, all in all, not a bad day for a Wednesday. So edging's in, sub basing, and whackered, sandal, uh, sanding, sand speed and laid. There's a pair of Muppets, look. The only gang YouTube been in is Gary Glitters. Throwing <laughs> gang signs. Yeah, you don't want to be in their gang, their gang, their gang, trust me. Gary Glitters. Bro. Sounds like finger, Bruce. Back from the dead. Bruce Forsyth. Tell you what, I had some women though, didn't I, Bruce? Yeah. Bruce is smashed out there. I'll tell you, smash more women than Bruce. Eh? Ken Barlow. Ooh. Ken Barlow. Ken Roach. 
Ken That's Ro- his name in real Ken life, Ro- isn't it? Ken Roach! Joe Roach, yeah. Thousands of women. He was a lover at. Yes. Matt Foles, his dad, before he went on Job Centre. Oh, no. Oh, it was bang out of all that. Oh, no. Bang out. Okay, so... Fantastic day yesterday. It's Thursday morning. We managed to get just loads done yesterday. Like I said in the morning, I didn't think we'd get as much done as we did. Um, it practically rained on and off all day. It was awful. and um, We had a few holds up. But... We seem to manage to get where we need to get. So, um, yeah, we've got a few little bits going this morning. We've got to finish off the soakway, get the drainage installed, cut in, back up, so on. We are on target to finish tomorrow, but you never know. Um, I'd like to say it'd be done tomorrow, but, um, yeah, we, you don't know. The weather's, I mean, one minute it's bright sunshine, the next minute it's cloudy. I mean, it's clouding over again now and, and so on, so it can make it difficult to sand and whack her, but we'll see how it goes. Also, I'm quite aware, I'm kind of talking weird. I've got... These Invisalign brace things in, and they're driving me mad. Ca- catching on my lips. So when I talk, if I'm going, that's why. So um, yeah. Anyway, we'll pop out the van. We'll have a little look at what got done yesterday. Give you a little explanation of what's happening today, and then we shall crack on with another glorious day at BNP Paving. Okay, so we're all in, ready to concrete it all in. Cut some halves in here. Got to get the tarmac ready. The tarmac boys come in. We're just clearing this planter out. We're gonna lay this up. Obviously, cut all these boards in here. Just put some drainage in now along this wall, along the house. I'm going to pipe that into our soak away. And uh, yeah, so if things go to plan and the weather's all decent, it should be nearly there. But this is the stage I get frustrated at because it's uh, I'm a bit OCD and I like to get everything tidy, and it's impossible to do that. But right, so first thing is I need to take a trip to builders merchants and pick up some drainage accessories so uh, yeah let's get going right so me and folds it we're on a little trek now to ferns on west Dole lane we're gonna pick up some drainage accessories bits and bobs some tun bags as they've all vanished so um we can't put rubble in anything at the minute because we don't have any so um yeah we'll uh, get that all sorted out pick some bits get back to the job Right, good people, we're getting done. The main technical cuts of Connell is cutting away. Look at these beautiful cuts. Tell the people what you've done. Cut block to fit in the hole. <laughs> there you go. Explain, please, what you've done. Would you want me to do it? You, I'll let you, mate. The old technical cut. Okay, so I've hung up my gloves and passed over the power to him and gave him the job of technical cutter. He did get a pay rise. Since you, how long have you worked here? Too long. How many years? Yeah. Roughly. Five years? Six, seven. So in six years you've had forty pound a day pay rise or fifty pound? No, you've had sixty pound. It's increased. Every year it's added ten pound a day pay rise that's not bad that's not bad is it cost of living right so i'll tell you what he's done we got down here so we've worked on the corner so where this corner finishes here that's where we start from you take your diagonal to this corner so your diagonal works like that runs up here and it works the same on there so you can always go from your corner point here, take it from the corner point, straight up, and away you go. Easy as that. As easy as that. Look at him, so proud of himself. So proud of himself. And that's it, we're getting the backing up in. Backing up's going up down here. So that's all getting backed up with ballast. So We've got 20 mil ballast, I believe. Yep, we've got 20 mil ballast. That's going in a four in one, so we've got four ballast, one cement, which is 
gonna make that super, super strong. Hold everything in. Can use washed sand, but I found over the years it, it tends to break up quite a bit. So we use ballast on the sides. That's going in down there. Let's go and have a little check on what Ryan's doing. He's laid this last little corner in here. He's marking the cuts for the drainage. And the border's gonna run down here. I'm gonna run a border and concrete it on the end so it runs all the way through. Same on that side. Customers made as a brew. Sweet. I ain't drinking that, look at that. Oh, it's gone all gammy. It's not for me, people. That's horrible. It's not for me. He drank it. Did you drink it with that gammy stuff in cup? No, no, not TV. You're on it now. Look at this, people. Who remembers a sweater shop? They were dead expensive. They had one in Nottingham Town Centre, remember? A sweater shop. Ockley. Up in Ockley, yeah, and it was dead, it was dead pricey, the sweater shop. Can you still buy sweater shop stuff? You can buy Fruit of the Loom still. I don't know if you can buy it, but I don't know if there's a shop. So that's the younger generation. Can you buy sweater shop clothes anymore? <laughs> Never heard of sweater shop? What about Fruit of the Loom? You heard of that? Oh my God. Naf Naf. Naf yeah, it's going back some. Spliffy jeans, can you remember Spliffy jeans? No. No? Christ. Do you remember Spliffy off the 7 Up advert? That was his name Spliffy off 7 Up? Yeah. No, it was Fido Dido, wasn't it? Fido Dido. Do you remember Fido Dido jeans? No. Bro, you haven't lived. I'm gonna buy you some. And that's it, we're getting done, we're chatting crap, and we're gonna go off and do what do you reckon the ratio is? Chatting crap and working. I think we should go for a 60-40. Chatting crap. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Over and out. Laters. Oh, ah, it's blowing a gale. Going a right gale up here. So it is. Tarmac's done. Tarmac's gone in, so we've got that tarmac packed up down the side. Got this packing end done round here that I've done myself and polished it off. That's why it looks good. <laughs> Otherwise, to be fair, it doesn't really matter, you don't see it. The lads just chuck it in like that, but it doesn't matter. Like I say, you don't you don't ever see it. It's under the ground, it's solid. There's enough down there to hold it. So the strength is the important bit. But I do, do think it looks personally better when you give it a good polish off. Just in case someone comes past tonight, they don't see us working in, they, they see that. They think, oh, that looks all right, rather than just seeing a load of crappy concrete that doesn't look good but to be honest with you i'm going to get in there and just give that a bit of a polish as well make it look a bit better main man bertio is getting it in here and he's actually following my lead look and making that look more compressed and solid what i like to do is i like to punch that up and rub it like this and then roll it over makes it a little bit stronger than when you just put it down into the edge and leave these edges they tend to break away because the concrete's thin so this is all solid here but say when you put it down flat it tends to splinter away a little bit over the last two inch so if you just rub it like that and roll it over it strengthens it up a little bit more ryan's not done that but he is going to do it in a minute because i'm going to tell him to do it so that's it Righty ho, jet washed out here, everything's getting cleaned up. Just need to get back on this road and clean that, but we're starting from here. Jet washed up, he's laughing his little head off. That was happy. Old Robo's in there, look, Robocop, and he's uh, moving that about. DJ Project's bringing us a ton of soil tomorrow, so we're gonna fill this planter back up, get all this crap out now, start to clear that. Folds is down there, polishing that off, making it look nice. Let's have a look at it. And zoom in, viewers of Connell Folds. Oh, I'm giving him your name now, sorry. Uh, give me all your mean box. <laughs> yeah, for all his fans out there, we've decided he's going to set up uh, an Amazon wish list. <laughs> and 
All his favourite things. What did you want? Protein powder? Oh, protein powder. We all need that, don't we? He wants protein powder. Uh, leaf blower. I desperately yeah, want you a leaf need blower. One, you're not ask. I'll tell you the sad story, people, that I bought a leaf blower. Back and I still ago, want out my own money for the job because we need one to blow it all off. And what some wretched human off? person broke into the van, drilled a hole through my van. Well, I was going to show you, but I won't in case then they'll know where to re drill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, if anyone's watching, they'll know exactly how to get back into the van just by drilling. But they drilled a hole in the van, uh, opened it up, and stole my beautiful leaf blower. And a steel saw. And a steel saw. And they stole that cat scanner as well. But we won't mention any names, but a wonderful viewer has sent us a cat scanner. Thank you very much. Is. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. He sent us lots of other goodies as well. He's a good man. He is a good man. Back to it. He's polishing that off. The little trowel, compressing it. That's going to set nice and solid. Drainage is all in. Blocks are in. Ryan's done that backing up. That's all in. And now we're going to get the jet wash this done someone saying goodbye there there having a whale of a time i'm gonna set up a little time lapse and show you this getting jet washed do you want to be on film <laughs> you're on youtube now by the way check bmp paving on sunday and you're on it <laughs> okay so the sun's come out just got back from doing a few quotes and a bit of paperwork and we're nearly done so that's all the edging's in the borders in chris has probably already showed you on some of his video clips i haven't checked yet but all the planters in got some new topsoil coming in the morning to fill this in we'll clear all this out got the gardeners coming tonight to take these bushes new topsoil down here in the border bit of gravel chris is just finishing up now cleaning the jet wash it's looking good. The lads are having a little diet coat break. I thought he was going to take his shirt off. I was going to play the music, but uh, apparently I'll get banned. Can't do that now. Can't do it nowadays, mate. You're bulking, upset. aren't I? You're bulking? Yeah. You're meant to bulk in the winter and cut uh, in the summer. I don't, I'm not a sheep. You're not a sheep? Oh, You're setting the standard, mate. That's it. That's I'm it. bulking the summer. Don't walk on it. Right, tell, Chris, tell him what he's doing. Mapley Tree Services son, so this is the next generation. You go and tell the people what you've done to our work. Don't walk on the drive. Uh, <laughs> so basically, we stood in the gobbo and then we walked all the way around the driveway yeah. and got gobbo over there, didn't we? Yeah, it's not your fault though, is it? No. You know what it is? He's overworked and underpaid. That's it. Tell him. <laughs> tell him. Yeah, That's what it is. Don't stand for this, mate. Tell him. I'm Just telling you. Give him more money. <laughs> You've heard the kid, he wants money sending in. Pay me, tell him, pay me. Never mind dad having you in off term, not paying you know. Slave labour. Look at, look at the face of this criminal here, look. Five years ago, this guy's poor dad dropped super noodles on his head and he ain't cleaned them off since. <laughs> Go on then, let's let you get off. Okay, I think I should give you all an update as to what happened with regards to the customer who won't pay or maybe explain a little bit more of the story. Um, I got a few questions and comments and things and I obviously didn't clarify very well what I was saying. So long story short, about October time, we booked in the original job. We agreed a size of job. I can't remember, say, I can't remember exactly, say 60 meters. It was all agreed um, and we take a booking deposit. It's contracted, written contract with size of job, agreed materials, it's signed by both parties, so on. £500 deposit is paid, so the contract and the quotation is accepted at that point for that price. We don't work on a day rate. So, about a week before the job, the phone starts going, as it normally does with the customer. And she's like, oh, I don't know if I want the whole garden doing now, or the, the half a garden, or I don't know. Or, and I was like, well, you can always have the other bit done at a later date, if you know, if you can't make your mind up. I did encourage her to do the full thing, because I, I did think she'd regret it. Um... But uh, yeah, no, she decided to do the thingy, um, the two thirds of the driveway, which was still big enough for two cars. Um, and 
we I knocked her off. I can't remember what it was, but I knocked her off like some money from the job, you know. Um, so anyway, we did the job. Everything went fine. Payment on completion. Everything's brilliant. Can't complain. Um, uh, and then a couple of weeks later, a week later, she's like, oh, I should have. No, that was it. We'd already just about finished the drive on the last day. And she messaged and said, oh, can you do that bit now? And I said, well, I can't. I've run out of time. Uh, on the job, we've just completed and, and, and you know, I've got other commitments. He said, well, can you come back and do it? I said, yeah, we'll sort it out at a later date. So um, this continued uh, for a while. So we complete the job. She paid, no problem at all. Can't can't complain. Um, and then it uh, carried on then. Can you come out and measure up? Can, you, can we do this next bit? Can we do this other bit? And I kind of hoped that she would get used to how it was and not do it because I knew what would happen, which is, this is what happens at, when you have an original job and you knock a bit of money off. So say I knocked a thousand pounds off at that point, people make the assumption then to have it redone, have that bit done at a later date is a thousand pounds and it's not. We've got to come back. We've got to get the grab lorry back. We've got to get the digger out. We've got a, there's labor. It just, it costs, there's VAT again, all these things. So it ends up costing a lot more money to do. You know, we can't, we can't just do it for say a thousand pound but that you know it won't cover the wages the wages in the vat you know it's just pointless so i don't like to do those jobs i would normally turn them down but because of the circumstance and i do explain this to the customer as well i did say it's very hard for me to be competitive doing these smaller jobs and explain and i gave her the price um so yeah she kept on messaging and can you do it can you do it i left it a couple of months it got a little bit snotty i mean i've got a voice recording where it's like if you want this or not you're going to get back to me but and i thought oh, i better do it because you live in constant fear of repercussions for not doing it um so I, I got back and gave her a price and she went yep yeah, yep yeah, that's fine blah 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 um and we i wrote it up sent it to her um and she paid a 500 pound booking deposit um to go again so this is a couple of months before um or a month before or so we got the deposit um yeah so obviously then we come on to the job we did the job um and yeah she started basically um complaining that obviously when we left the job she then starts messaging saying i'm not happy paying this amount you know um i can't remember the reasons now from in the previous video but just going on that she doesn't want to pay but i mean she had full intention of doing it i mean looking back now with the things that she spoke about um oh sorry i forgot when we got back to do the original the, the second the smaller bit she then we were supposed to do the whole drive we decided she wanted to make it smaller again but i'd already booked in like a four day or three day slot to do it um yeah, and then like, if you want to watch back the previous video, she's making all these complaints. It only took you a day. I mean, it was two days. We have to pay. You go home at lunchtime. You can't just not pay people. Um, I can't book another job in because I booked in that time. So, the, the, you know, I've agreed to start another job on the Thursday or whatever it may be. Um, yeah, so it all went on from there. Anyway, so it got nasty a little bit to and fro. She was very aggressive. I run a business and I'm ringing trading standards and I'm doing this and I'm doing that and I'm doing the other. And as I said, I said, don't waste your time. If that's the route you want to go down... I'll just come and we'll just take the job up and just call it quits. You don't have to pay me anything. And at that point, she underpaid me. Um, she just put some money in the bank, £600 down, um, and underpaid and said, that's all you're having. But at that point, you see, I've then got to catch 22 because I've been paid something. So I can't go around and fetch my material because she's paid me something. So then it got even more heated because I said, you're not doing what you think you're doing. I'll come around and post the money back for your letterbox and take my stuff back. You're not doing that because then I can't... She'll say, I've paid X amount. They can't take the stuff, you see. This is what she's trying to work this angle. However, in her haste and stupidity and anger, she'd forgotten she paid me a £500 deposit. So she didn't underpay me 600 she underpaid me 100 And I'd agreed to knock a 200 300 off anyway to, to, to about this tree or this debate about a tree she wanted leaving in. So um, in the end, she did herself out £200 by being stupid. Um, so, yeah, but um, I'm lucky it resolved the way it did because I mean it, I would, I would have gone the next day. If I hadn't, she hadn't paid that money, or hadn't got that 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 other five hundred quid offer as a deposit, I would have gone and pickaxed it up. Um, because I'm I'm like I say, and, and I know there's potential customers might see this, and it makes me sound really bad, but I've had this before that with all the will and the, I'm not a, you know I've been doing business for fifteen years. I think it's happened twice previously. I had a, a problem with um, a lady who just tried to rip us off. We were quite young, and she just got some heavy. We got there one morning. And these heavies were there. These heavies were there, and then. Um, Try, tried to bully us and said you're not having your materials and you're not getting paid and you can take this and leave and I mean we were like me and Chris were in like our early 20s um, and the, we got the police out and just got all our stuff and, and, and sorted it out um, and then we had it with uh, another lady over some drainage she asked her to come put additional drainage in and then complained that she didn't want to pay for it and all this carry on went on 
So um, yeah, it ended up in a bit of a hoo-ha. And again, we got the police out. And this is how I know we're all in within our rights to do what we're doing. The police came. I said, there, my drainage challenge, the back of the truck. Showed them the receipts. The police said to the woman, I'm sorry, it's a civil matter. She tried the old, he's threatened me with a pickaxe, blah, blah, blah. But um, I videoed the whole, I videoed the whole thing. I got Chris to video why I was taking the drainage up and putting it in the van and everything. Um, I showed that police officer, absolutely fine. So yeah, it's just one of them things. But unfortunately, you all have to deal with it. But I say to anyone in this situation, don't think the law's on your side. Oh, I've had so many comments about small claims court, this, that, and other. I'd have to pay small claims fees. Then you end up having to get a solicitor or something if you're not con con uh, confident enough to do it with myself, which I wouldn't be. Then you're a couple of grand in. You know, you're talking organ over 600 quid. So by the time you get through the, it, two years of absolute stress and anxiety, which is not worth it. So it's not worth going for it. So you have the two decisions. You have two choices. You either rip it all or you let them get away with it. And if you let them get away with it, you find word spreads. They tell their little mates that they can bully you. And the next thing you're doing a £10,000 job and they don't pay you and they're messing you around and, and this, that and the other. So, yeah. But anyway, it got resolved. Your husband rang me, apologised. Um, I don't know if they realised the mistake that they actually paid the full balance. I think they did. Um, I've not heard anything since. Um, and hopefully that's the end of the matter. But... Um, yeah, stressful week. So hence why we didn't have a video right last week. We decided we'd uh, have a bit of a, a chill out and uh, we had the Easter week off with the kids and stuff, a load of us, so we could have time with the kids and talk and see Mario and so on. And uh, yeah, just chilled out. So you'll be watching this Sunday. Right, okay. So it's Friday morning. We're going to sand and whack on, get this job completed. Folds it, my lovely assistant. It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> So yeah, we're just trucking. We're trucking a bit of sand down. It's a bit damp down here, so we're gonna just whack this bit dry, and um, just in case it, it tends to stick, uh, and then we'll get it all brushed in. We'll whack herd, soil in the planter. Where we go. So we're just adding those final touches now. The soil's turned up some brand new fresh topsoil, banging that in the plant so the customer can plant it out. Connell, my beautiful assistant, my beautiful fuzzy little assistant, he is putting some new topsoil in this little plant area. So although there's a lot of concrete here, you can't really plant here when the hedge grows back in and everything look great. So yeah, we're nearly there. Just washing it all down. It rained a little bit when we were brushing in, so if you can see some of these joints, we need some more bit more sand in them as it's, it's washed through. The minute kiln sand gets damp in any way, shape or form, it clogs up and it won't go in the joints. So we decided to brush as much as we could in. We're gonna wash it all down. We're gonna pop back next week and just pop the sand up. But it's drivable on, it's all done, dusted. And I think if I'm right, young David, is it Dave or we've got Stevie today? It's just arrived, it's coming down the road now. Go on, Dave. Ah. Oh. Is that it? Oh, is that premature that? Oh dear. Right, so that's our rubble bags. Always last thing on the job is to get this pavement all nice and clean. Obviously we'll take these plastics with us and we'll get rid of them one day to our plastic guy. But yeah, it's all coming on nicely. Nearly done. It's David DJ Projects just taking them away. Get this road clear so there aren't any complaints. And uh, yeah, go to flick over to a little montage, get the job done.